All right, guys, welcome back to the layout. This is going to be update number five on the HO Scale Alabama Central. Uh, today I've got my engineer trainee working with me today. This is Mr. John Nicholas. Say hey to everybody. Hey. He's going to be operating trains for us today, and I'm going to give you a, a brief tour of the updates that I've done. All right, buddy, you can go ahead and start the train whenever you get ready. Okay, you don't have to turn the bell on. Uh, I took some time off since my last video uh, from the layout, but I've had some time where I've got back into it. Uh, mostly of what I've been doing is relocating some of the scenes. Uh, I'm relocating the depot to this location here. It was further up the layout, uh, but this is a uh, scratch-built replica of the X Southern Railway Depot here in Lincoln uh, that I built. Uh, There. Uh, this is as it was when it was in operational, uh, and I've put a industry in the, in the back of it using uh, building flat. Uh, this is probably going to be Bama Box Company when I get done with it, uh, which will receive box cars, empties in, loads out. Uh, be a little uh, operating scenario. Uh, and I've got, uh, I think I showed this to you in my last video, but I had started a little uh, trackside cornfield, uh, but it was incomplete, but I've got it completed at this time. And uh, got the uh, fence up around it. And uh, re relocated a little farm scene that I had in another location. Uh, but I've got a, a barn with a tractor and a guy working the some beehives and a farmhouse and uh, comes on into like the outskirts of town here. Uh, I originally had this set up for a, a dirt road but I think I'm going to redo it as an asphalt road uh, to match the, uh, the road that's in the backdrop. And I've got some uh, Walther's uh, cantilever crossing signals I'm going to use. And here's a couple of engines I've done up for my Alabama Central X Indiana Harbor Belt SW1500 and we'll wait on the local to go by and I've got it paired up with an XUP it's also loaded up for the Alabama Central and this area this is actually the area where the depot was I've uh, changed it up a little bit I'm going to fence it up and uh, use it for a scrap yard and uh, other track right here is going to go to a pulpwood yard where I'll have empties in, loads out as well. Uh, and then it continues on to here. And my next big project, I guess, on this end is going to be I'm going to take the uh, the end backdrop off and replace it with a mirror to kind of give it a little more depth. And I've got some uh, Walther's backdrop uh, apartment house. Uh, background buildings that I'm going to put up there and which will make it look a little add a little more depth to it and I've started on the, the canopy also uh, I've got to brace it up a little bit more and put the top on it and then I'm going to have the lights on it with the valence in the front which I'll have uh, I'm going to have it set up for uh, daytime lights and nighttime lights as well uh, but, like I said, it's been a while since I posted my last video, and I thought I'd give y'all a quick little update. Uh, hopefully it won't be near as long for my next video. Uh, I'll be doing a little more work on it this weekend, hopefully, and maybe have you another video up in a, in a week or two. Uh, but for now, uh, we're going to say so long. Tell them bye, John Nicholas. Bye. And we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.